The Mayan civilization had a complex and diverse system of laws and punishments. While their punishments were not as uniformly brutal as some other ancient civilizations, there were certain practices that could be considered particularly harsh. One of the most brutal punishments used in the Mayan civilization was human sacrifice. Human sacrifice was a deeply ingrained religious practice among the Mayans. Captives, often taken in warfare, were chosen as offerings to the gods. The methods employed were horrifyingly brutal. Some victims faced decapitation, their heads displayed as offerings or trophies, others had their hearts gruesomely removed, symbolizing the essence of life offered to the deities. Certain individuals were thrown into sacred cenotes, natural sinkholes considered portals to the underworld. These sacrifices were public events witnessed by the community, reinforcing the spiritual connection between the Mayans and their gods. Human sacrifice served to appease the deities, maintain cosmic balance, and instill fear ensuring compliance in societal order. Bloodletting Rituals Mayan nobles and elites engaged in bloodletting ceremonies, purposely inflicting wounds on themselves to offer their own blood as a sacrifice to the gods. This act was believed to establish a connection with the supernatural realm, allowing them to communicate with the deities and access divine powers. Sharp objects such as obsidian blades or stingray spines were used to make cuts on various body parts, releasing blood in a ritualistic manner. Bloodletting rituals were performed during important ceremonies and events, demonstrating the minds' devotion and seeking favor from their gods. Punishment by Mutilation Those who committed severe crimes within Mayan society could face punishment through mutilation. This punishment involved the amputation of limbs, ears, or other body parts, leaving the individual physically disabled and bearing visible marks of their transgressions. Mutilation served as a form of social ostracization, branding the offender as an outcast and a constant reminder of their wrongdoing. The intention was not only to inflict physical pain, but also to publicly shame and exclude the individual from the community, reinforcing social order and deterring others from engaging in similar acts. Public Floggings As a means of punishment, public floggings were employed in Mayan society. Offenders would be subjected to public whippings, where they would be lashed with a whip or other implements in front of the community. The purpose was twofold, to cause physical pain as a form of retribution and to publicly shame the individual, making an example of them as a deterrent to others. The sight of the punishment served as a stark reminder of the consequences of breaking societal rules, instilling fear and maintaining social order through public humiliation. Enslavement Mayans practiced enslavement primarily capturing captives from warfare or prisoners of war who would then be enslaved. Enslaved individuals were subjected to forced labor, often enduring grueling conditions, physical abuse, and the loss of their freedom. They were considered the property of their owners and were used for various tasks such as agricultural labor, construction, or serving in households. Enslavement served as a means of social control and economic exploitation, consolidating power among the ruling elite while imposing a harsh existence on those held in bondage. Death by Ball Game The Mayans had a ceremonial ball game called Pok Atok, which held a great religious and cultural significance. In some instances, losers of the game were sacrificially killed. This practice highlighted the importance of the game and what it meant to the Mayans as a ritual and the potential consequences of failure. The defeated player or team would be offered as a sacrifice to the gods, representing a symbolic exchange of life energy. This added immense pressure to the game, emphasizing the religious context and reinforcing the notion that even leisure activities were intertwined with the spiritual realm. Ritual Torture During certain religious ceremonies or, or rituals, Mayans willingly subjected themselves to acts of ritual torture. This could involve piercing body parts with sharp objects such as thorns or obsidian blades, or using stingray spines to inflict wounds on in themselves. The purpose of this self-inflicted pain was to demonstrate devotion and endurance, proving one's commitment to the gods and seeking their favor. Ritual torture was seen as a way to connect with the divine, to transcend the physical realm, and to demonstrate spiritual strength and dedication. Which month sounds devotional, but when you're there witnessing these games, it could be a grotesque scene to watch. Harsh Corporal Punishments Children and young adults in Mayan society could be subjected to physical punishments as a means of instilling discipline and obedience. These punishments could involve beatings which not, might not be dangerous to life, but still can be very detrimental to, to the psychological state of a person. But these were just painful disciplinary practices or physical tasks assigned as a form of corrective action. They had no wrong intentions. The intention was to shape the behavior and character of the young individuals, reinforcing societal norms and expectations. 
The harsh corporal punishment served as a means of social control, ensuring adherence to cultural values and preparing the younger generation to fulfill their roles within Mayan society. These practices, while brutal by modern standards, were deeply ingrained in the religious, social, and cultural aspects of the Mayan civilization. Considering all of this, would you like to be a part of the Mayan civilization if you were offered the chance? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like these.